Hello YouTube, wanted to do a quick video today covering Pac-Man for my fellow noobs. Now Pac-Man is a package manager that is used for Arch Linux and it's it's essentially it's a program that is used to uh, update and upgrade your computer. You also use it to to search and install and remove um, programs uh, and other software that you, that you have um, either installed or, or you want to install. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is this is kind of Pac-Man 101. Okay, this is this is of course geared toward people who are new to new to uh, uh, Arch Linux or are thinking about coming over to Arch Linux. So um, bear with me if you're if you're very well versed. Uh, I have no idea why you're even watching a tutorial on uh, the basics. But in any case, let's go ahead and get started with it. Um, one thing about Pac-Man is Pac-Man is, is a program, in, like I said, in which it'll install, it'll actually uh, put programs on your computer or take them off. Um, so it's a program that does require permissions. Now, I'm going to use sudo. I have sudo installed already. If you're running my distro um, at the time, you know, you're watching this, then you probably, you've already done it because I, I put, that's part of the instructions right as you go in. Um, we get that set up as soon as possible because it's it's a very useful program. If if you if you don't have sudo, then you may want to get it, and you can get it in the, in the repositories the same way I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, and if you don't at this point in time, but you want to go ahead and, and move forward with it, you can log in as super user using su. You can log in as root that way. Um, but Pac-Man does require root privileges to do its thing. Okay. So the command to do an upgrade, or rather an update, because what you want to do is update your your uh, information in your repository, or the, the information that's that's contained within the repositories. Um, the command is SYY. I've seen it done with just SY, which is, I guess, okay. I've become accustomed to using it this way. So this is what I'm going to show you. If I hit enter, and I s type in my password it'll start synchronizing the, the database. And again, this is what it's doing. It's, it's going to take the list that you have of everything that's in the repository that, that is saved locally on your computer, and it is going to make sure it's up to date. So it's going to download the new lists, and I, it either appends you know, your existing list, or it overwrites it. I don't really know. Um, but I do know that once you do this, um, your list of application, ap applications of what's available is now up to date. So you want to do this first um, before pretty much you do anything else, you know, regarding Pac-Man. You want to do this often to make sure it's up to date. Um, to do the upgrade, now I just did the just did an upgrade a little bit ago. I actually upgraded my Linux kernel and my NVIDIA drivers, um, which I was very pleased to see that. Um, but the, the command for it is sudo sudo pacman dash, capital S, U is what I use. I've also seen S, Y, U. Not really sure what, what that's all about. I don't know if that actually synchronizes first and then upgrades. I don't know. But I, I do it in two steps just to be on the safe side because I really don't know. But I do know this works. So if I hit enter, like I said, for me, I just upgraded so it says there's nothing to do. But not 20 minutes ago, I got the upgrade for my Linux and what, what will happen is if you do have something that needs to be upgraded, it will it will tell you what it is. It will list off what it's going to do or what it's going to upgrade. And then it will ask you for confirmation to go ahead and proceed with the installation. You type in yes, enter, and then it will start doing its thing, and then you'll get a prompt when it's done. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and clear. Now, let's talk about searching the repository. Okay, let's say... You have a particular program that you want to install and you want to make sure it's in the repository. Fair enough. What I'm going to use as a guinea pig today as an example because it's something that I, I do want to install. I want to install a program called Audacity. And Audacity is a an audio editor. Now, if you're in a position where you, you're not really sure what program you need, just jump on Google. Um, in, in this example, type in audio editor Arch Linux. See what pops up, and then take note of that. What I do is I'll jump on uh, YouTube and uh, see if there's any reviews on those particular programs, so I can kind of do my research that way and pick and choose, you know, which one I think would be best. 
but you do it however you want. Right, that was just a little tip I'm throwing out at you that might make your life a little bit easier. But again, do it how you want. Um, in this example, we're going to do a sudo pacman. And the command is capital S, lowercase s. That's what you use to do a search. Now, I, I've already told you what I want to do is audacity. And that's actually how it's spelt. If I hit enter, it'll, it'll spit out a result. And there it is, audacity, right there. Um, but let's say, as an example, that, let, let's say I misspelled it, okay? So if I went back and I spelt it I-C-I-T-Y, instead of an A, I used an I. And I hit enter, it's just going to spit out a, uh, a another prompt, because it, it, it didn't find anything in the repositories that matched the criteria that I asked Patman to look for. Um, but at least nothing spelled like that, so... It can't return anything. So if you actually, you know, you do a search and you get um, just another prompt, that's what it means. It means you either misspelt it or whatever you're looking for isn't in the repository, at least not the way you searched for it. So in that capacity, if, if I'm looking at that, I'm like, oh, okay, well, maybe I, maybe I misspelt it. I can do a partial search. So like in this in this example, I'll, I'll just search for A-U-D, the first three letters. If I hit enter, look at all this that comes up now. I mean, we get... We get a ton of results now because, well, you, you did a partial search. Um, so a lot of different things have come back. You start looking up here, and and what I would do is just start going down the list, take a look. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, fantastic. There it is right there. Now, for my fellow noobs, because I don't know where everybody's skill level is, I'm going to go ahead and cover the, what, this little tip right here. The, the numbers in green is a version number. Okay, you don't have to type that in when you're wanting to do an install. The only thing that you're really interested in um, as far as installing is what I have highlighted here. And you want to make sure that you spell it exactly right. Now, one thing about working in the terminal, and I will mention this, um, it's not forgiving. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen so you can see the install command. Uh, the install command is sudo pacman, capital S. So sudo pacman dash capital S, this is the command to, to do the install. And then you have to type it in the way it was set, the way, you, the way you saw that it's listed in the repository. So if you type it in exactly correctly, um, then it'll come back, it'll prompt you and ask you for the installation. This is also what happens when you do an upgrade. This is what you're going to see, essentially, this right here. You say yes, and then it'll go through, and it'll install it. Okay, one of the great things about... Linux-based programs, more often than not, if you're installing a program like this especially, um, it's ready to go the minute you do the install. You know, like with uh, with Windows, you have to reboot, and, and some of those, that, that scenario actually happens once in a while in Linux too. It just depends on, on the program, but more often than not, it's ready to go. And here, I'll go ahead and show you. If I go over here and I do a search, well, there it is. I only search, you know, the first three letters, and here's Audacity. I could open up Audacity right now, and it's it's ready to go, which is great. But in any case, let's let's say, as an example, I found a different audio editor that I, I'd like better, and, and now I want to remove Audacity because I'm not going to use it. Um, the command to do that is sudo pacman dash capital R for remove. That should be easy enough to remember. Dash capital R for remove, and if I type it in the exact same way it was before, and I hit enter. Now, instead of asking me to install it, or permission to install it, it will ask me for permission to remove it. You say yes, and it'll go through, say removing, and then once you get your prompt, you're done. So this is what we've done today. We've covered how to update um, your list of applications, the, the list of what's in the, in the repositories with uh, dash SYY, and then we've also covered how to upgrade your software with dash capital S U, right? And then um, how to do a search, that was dash capital S lowercase s, and how to do an install, which is just the single dash capital S, and then how to do how to do a, a an uninstall or a remove with a dash R. So I hope this has given you at least the very basics of what you need to know in order to use Pac-Man and get you know, and work with programs on your computer or get them on your computer. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. 
In the next video that I plan on doing, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through Audacity and show you how to remove background noise from uh, videos like the one I'm shooting right now. So um, stay tuned for that. Keep checking the channel for more um, videos. I plan to put plenty up as I run across things. As a noob myself, as I run across things, I'll try to share them with you. So with that, have yourself a great day, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.